Just to, to add on the debate on carbon, uh, no matter how hard we try, we can't stop progress, and renewable energy is the future. If and when renewables such as nuclear, solar, and wind overtake fossil fuels in terms of efficiency, is the conservative movement's answer to that to try and stop that movement, or will it be to adapt? Well, I reject the premise that it's inevitable because experts in 1990 said all fossil fuels would be phased out by 2020, and that certainly is not the case, right? Yeah. I'm glad you put in nuclear, right? A lot of environmentalists don't like nuclear, so I'm glad you like nuclear. Isn't that it's wild, isn't it? I, I agree, it is wild. And yeah. so that's some common ground that we can have, right? Mm -hmm. And I think nuclear is something that is, yes, renewable. It, is abund it can be abundant, mm -hmm. and we should embrace. But honestly, I want to say this, that if the renewable wins the market, then so be it. But do it without mass subsidies and force and coercion, right? Mm -hmm. Do it without That's the government the truth, coming yeah. in. And it's a clumsier fight than some mm -hmm. people realize. And the environmentalists need to be honest. I'm not saying you. I'm just going to talk oh, more yeah, broadly, no, no, okay? If the environmentalists truly care about carbon emissions, lifting people out of poverty, and lowering utility in a quote-unquote bridge, they should be embracing liquefied mm -hmm. natural gas. LNG is abundant. It is clean. It employs so many people, and in the state of New York, they have outlawed all LNG exploration for no other reason than ideology, mm -hmm. right? And so, do you have, do you have a comment? Yeah. Uh, to add to the uh, previous gentleman who was up here uh, talking about climate change is why I came up here. Sure. Um, I have an idea on how to, like, bring conservatives more into, um, quote, unquote, environmentalism, is to actually focus on actual conservation. Like, if you look, I want to say it's the Illinois River which is completely Illinois. infested, Illinois River, excuse me, is completely I'm, I'm infested from the corrupt Asian state of Park. Illinois, okay? <laughs> Sorry. There, there's, you, you see pollution in our cities. It doesn't take, you know, it doesn't take a scientist to say that there is just outrageous pollution. So that's what I'm saying. Like, what is your opinion on bringing more conservatives in to, I guess, caring for the environment in the terms of conservation? Yes, but I want to make sure the morals are always right. And it's my job to slow down mass media movements that can lead us astray. The separation between man and nature, as set out in the first 11 books of Genesis, I believe is the prop, obviously, it's the truth, it's the proper way. We do not worship nature and we do not serve nature, nature serves us. But we must try to conserve it so other people can also enjoy it so humans, human beings can flourish. That's an important moral statement I that agree. not every environmentalist believes. Mm -hmm. Some environmentalists believe the humans are the toxin in nature that they are the invaders in nature. That's a really bad, I'm not saying it's you, right? So we have to get our morals right. Yeah. But yeah, conservation, I'm all about conservation, obviously. Um, but I'm also about when the question needs to be asked, which happens more than you might think, do we explore natural gas, fossil fuels, or coal to help people, or do we not do that to preserve some butterfly that we've never seen? Human beings must always come first. Mm -hmm. We must have a human first agenda and the unpopular but true argument is that fossil fuels that get demonized by every person have lifted more people out of poverty and allowed us to have a sustainable level of living that was unthinkable 200 years ago. And most environmentalists literally want what happened in Europe last winter, rolling blackouts and people freezing to death, all because of an ideological green agenda. Thank you very much. We've got to wrap it up. Thank I really, you. I liked it whenever you were on Timcast IRL. Oh, thank you. had you, a man. lot of really good arguments. Thank you. Thank you.